Time now for John Clark and Brian Dore in tabloid heaven. Thanks for your time tonight. It's very good to be with you, Brian. Good evening. Now, I understand you're an Australian newspaper editor. You understand right? correctly, Brian. Mm. Newspapers, magazines, we've got them all. Can you explain the Lara Bingle Michael Clark story? Certainly I can, yes. What would you like to know? It's an interesting story. It's a fascinating, very absorbing and long-running story, Brian. It's been yes. all over the pages of the papers for and, weeks. And will it? be for yeah. some time. Trust me on that one, Brian. What is it? What is it? Well, what's the story? Oh, OK. Well, you know Lara Bingle? No, who's Lara Bingle? Good grief, Brian. Where, where have you been? This has been the biggest story in this country for a fortnight. Yes, this is why I'm asking. You, you, you don't know who she is? No. You're asking who she is? Yes. Brian, how can you possibly understand the story if you don't know who Lara Bingle is? Well, I can't. So why are you reading it? I'm not. What's your interest, Brian, if you're not reading it and you don't understand the story? Because it's been on the front page of every newspaper in this country and I'm trying to find out why I'm supposed to be okay. interested. OK, so you are aware of the story. You've yes, seen I am. the story, but you don't understand it. Correct. OK. Well, let me explain. You know Lara Bingle? No. Who's Lara Bingle? Brian, she's the main person in the story. She's I at the very centre of I the whole story. This. I want to know who she is. OK, let's start at the beginning. You know Romeo and Juliet? Of course. She's Polonius' sister. Polonius didn't have a sister. She's not in the play. He did have a sister. She's not there while the action depicted in the play takes place. Where was she? She was with Fevolius. Fevolius. She's back now. Yeah, she's back. And uh... But hang on a second. Polonius wasn't in Romeo and Juliet. We can get him in. We can get him in. We can get the guy in the play. Don't worry about that. That's been a failing with the play, in our view, hitherto, Brian. We're going to fix that. Good luck. Thanks for your time. Yes, no use dismissing this matter, Brian. This is the biggest story I'm you're going to see, probably just, in your lifetime. I'm just not interested. I'm just it's not no interested. Use not there must be something Brian. more important to put in your newspapers than this, surely. Well, what, for example, wise guy? <sighs> Try the Greek economy. The Greek economy? Yeah. Have you got a photograph of Lara Bingle with the Greek oh, economy? come on. That's just being silly. I mean, for heaven's sake, Brian, you don't understand my business. I know how interested people are. Don't tell me how interested you are. <laughs> really? We know. We did a poll, Brian, about how interested people are in this story. And what did you find? We found that 78% of people have absolutely no interest in this story at all. Goodness. The biggest number of people with no interest in a story in polling history. That's good, is it? It's fabulous. They've all got to go to our website, Brian, and click on No, I'm Not Very Interested. Oh, we I go see. by hits, you see. We're doing oh, all right, right out of this. OK. And then there are people like you, Brian, who are so hopeless they don't even go to the website and register their lack of interest. Just wasting my life, really. You said it, Brian.